Hello, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. I hope you're having a great day so far. I'm actually coming to you from Australia, from Down Under. And today I'm going to be talking to you about two express tools that are, have grown up and become real life autocad commands. And they're very, very powerful and very valuable tools. So you get a double bonus today. So if you take a look at the screen, you can see I have quite a mess, right? I, here I have my objects, which happen to be in model space in this viewport, are no longer lining up with my objects my dimensions that are in paper space you know so what do I do I guess I could try to zoom try to fix it um, clearly things have gone terribly wrong so no problem there's a great tool called align space it's going to come to my rescue so I'm just going to go to the express tools tab and you'll see that I'm right there on the ribbon and I'm going to select the align space command this is just a great command and I think I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to um, pick this point right down here pretty easy those look like two good points so I need two points in model space that I can line up with two points in paper space to get this to work. And then as far as my points in, in uh, paper space, I'm going to go ahead and grab this dimension. And I'm going to grab this guy right there too. Oh, look at that. How easy was that? It moved right to the right spot. Everything's lining up now. My dimensions are all happy. And my drawing looks great. So all you need is two points in model space to line up with two points in paper space. So this looks fantastic. So kind of on the same lines, I'm going to show you another tool. Because let's say I'm working on a project where I have been asked to make sure that all of my dimensions are in model space with my objects. And as I mentioned to you before, these guys are all in paper space. So what am I going to do? Um, I don't. I, I basically just want to push them through to the other space. I don't want them to change sizes. I don't want to change their values. In fact, let me just kind of zoom up on here for a second. You can see clearly see these values on here. I don't want those to change. I need those to stay exactly the way they are. No problem. A great tool called Change Space. So this particular tool is on the Home tab of the ribbon. Also under Modify, you'll find this great tool called Change Space. Okay, so let's give it a try. So now the, the trick here is you need to make sure that you're in the right space, the space of the objects that you want to change. So I happen to be wanting to change my dimensions, which are in paper space. So that's the space I'm in. So I can easily select them because that's kind of the tricky part. You need to be able to pick them. Pick that guy there and that guy there. Hit an Enter. And that is it. How easy is that? Okay, I'm going to come back out here to paper space so I don't mess up my zoom. But you'll see same values. My dimensions look exactly the same as they did before. They line up, but now my dimensions have changed space over to model space, the same as my objects. Wow, it's great. Super, super easy express tool, which as I said is now real life AutoCAD command. All right, there are your two tools, two tips for the week. I hope that you enjoyed them. And I am going to see you back here in two more Tuesdays. Thank you so much for joining me.